Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can reduce or dramatically remove the flickering from any of your video files. So the flickering may come in if you're doing a time lapse and you've got your exposure set to auto. So as the scene gets lighter or darker, then you've got some sort of flickering in there as the light changes and the camera adjusts for it or it'll also help you reduce any flickering from filming your computer screens or projector screens where you've got the sort of the bands that roll up or if you're doing any filming and your shutter speed or your frame rate doesn't match the lighting equipment, the LED lights that you're using, then you'll also get the flickering and the bands rolling through your video. So we're gonna cover in this video how you can remove or at least dramatically reduce that effect in your video files. So the plugin that we're talking about here is called Flickr Free and it's by a company called Digital Anarchy. Now these guys have really covered all the bases because the plugin is supported by DaVinci Resolve, Avid, Premiere, Final Cut, After Effects. So really, no matter what platform you're using, there should be something there where you can utilize this plugin. Now the plugin sells for $149 US. They do offer a 30 day trial version of the plugin as well. So that way you get to actually test it with your footage to make sure that it's gonna repair or fix your footage before you run out and buy it. But personally, I think that at that $149 price point, it becomes a no brainer when you see how powerful the plugin is. I've actually been using it quite a bit lately to repair a lot of my clients' footage where they've been using their smartphones to record the video files so they're recording at a different frame rate or a different frequency to the lights that they're using. So they're getting a flicker through in their videos and the results have been awesome. We're gonna jump across now into Final Cut Pro where we've got the flicker free plugin installed and we're gonna run you through an example. Okay, so here we are in Final Cut. You're probably wondering why the hell do I have two microphones on? We're just doing a quick mic test between the Boyer BYM1 and the Rode SmartLav, which is a video we'll be posting soon. But what we thought we'd do at the same time was to create some Flickr video to show you an example. Now, if I hit play now, you'll see that there's flickering here on my shirt, a little bit here on my forehead, and so how we created the flicker, which is normally something that you don't want to do, is that we have our lights, which in Australia flicker at 50 hertz, which means that we normally should be using 25 frames per second to shoot our video with a shutter speed to match. So 50 hertz for our lights, one on 50th or 150th of a second, or setting our shutter to 50 would normally eliminate that. So basically we set our camera settings to match US regions, so 30 frames per second, a one on 60 shutter speed, where it doesn't match our Australian settings of 25 frames per second and 50 hertz for our lights flickering, then we're gonna get this strobing effect. So you can see it's pretty distracting. So enter the plugin. We'll just make a short chunk of the video here because it's a pretty long video file. So just Command B to cut that section there. We can probably get rid of all the rest of it here. We'll zoom in on our timeline using Command Plus. So this is our short clip. Now we come down to Digital Anarchy, click on Flickr Free and drop it on. Now this plugin is pretty CPU intensive. It does take a long time to render, which is why it's a great idea to drop it on a small section of your video first, get the settings right, and then copy those settings across to the rest of your video. Okay, now that rendering has complete, we'll come back to the start and press play, and you'll see that even just using the default settings, all the flicker is gone. The rest of the image looks still really good quality, but the flicker's gone. So that was just with default settings. So if we click on this and actually come in and have a look at settings, you can see straight out that the preset is just set to time-lapse and it's still done a really good job at removing the flicker on my shirt and on my forehead. So by changing this, you can actually choose rolling horizontal bands from LED lights, which is what we were using. There's three different settings or presets for that. Um, there's preset for computer monitor flicker, archive or, or old footage, stage lights, slow motion, another rolling bands preset, and back up the top we've also got slow motion ones as well, and specifically anything above 960 frames per second. 
I'm actually really happy with the results that we got just from using the time lapse, the default preset. Now, really, if there's nothing in the presets that's working 100% for you, which I'd be pretty surprised about, then you can come down here and you can play and move around and tweak all the settings to really get the flicker reduction that you're after. So just to show you the difference again, this is with the flicker removed and we'll turn the plugin off. So we'll go back to the original footage. You can see the flicker all through here. Turn the plugin back on and the flicker is gone. Let's take a quick look at another example. Knowing we were shooting this video this week, Mike set up his video from last week to have the same strobing issue as another example to show you how awesome this plugin is. So here's the original now with the flicker from the lights and now the repaired footage with the flicker free plugin applied. Also, if you haven't checked out Mike's video yet, I'll put a link on screen now. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a comment or a thumbs up. It really does help. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. I'll see you next time.